Hey folks, it's John. <clears throat> Just want to tell you, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. <clears throat> Losing my voice. I've been camping all week with the with the kids. We went camping for the 4th of July holiday. Man, I've had some serious sun and oh, about lost my voice. I didn't drink enough beer. That's probably what's wrong. I'm trying to catch up on that now a little bit. So guys, what is Independence Day? What is 4th of July? What are fireworks? What's that all about? Yeah, celebrating our independence. We won, right? For a while, for about seven or eight years, I lived in Montana. In Montana, they celebrate Independence Day a little different than some places do. I was quite intrigued <clears throat> by some of the uh, teachings my kids had brought home from school about Independence Day and what it means in Montana. You know, um, the fireworks, you know, they are something that represents cannon fire and gunfire. <clears throat> the way it was explained to me in Montana by a school teacher was that on Independence Day, on the 4th of July, everybody would, at a certain time, shoot off their cannons and their guns and uh, hoop and holler and it was a way of saying hey you can't come take our guns you can't take the constitution from us this is ours and we have the means to keep it i just find that interesting you know we've switched it to some chinese fireworks and voila but uh yeah, interesting right i'm not saying go out there and shoot your 44 magnum in the air at, you know in your neighborhood or anything guys but i'm just telling you it's kind of an interesting background on Independence Day and fireworks and what it really means. Happy Independence Day to you guys. God bless you. And God bless America.